Om Bali Bengalim Veke Konsem Yesu Azab We Ransom Kondwe Rani Tu Himba Ninyimbo Yesu Azab We Ransom Ab We Ransom Ab We Ransom Yesu Azab Good evening, saints. Good evening, saints. We want to thank the Lord once again for allowing us to meet. We want to thank uh, the group singing group from Kawale. A song that reminds us that he is coming. And he shall take us into his kingdom. One by one. Telling us my child. You have been saved. Oh I look forward to that. Before we get into our message for tonight. We'll have another special item. If you kneel beside the rubble of a naked, broken heart, when the things you gave your life to fell apart, you'll know the first to be acquainted. With sorrow, grief, or pain. But the master promised sunshine after rain. Hold on, my child. Joy comes in the morning. We be Joy comes in the morning. The darkest time is dawn, it's just inside. To invest your seed of trust in God. In mountains you can't move. You have risked your life on things you cannot prove. But to give the things you cannot keep, or things that you cannot lose is the way to find the joy God has for you. Hold on, my child. Joy comes in the morning. We be. The darkest time 
is done, he's just inside. What does the church say? Our message from tonight for tonight. Message for tonight comes from the book of Acts. As we are in this week themed revival and reformation. Tonight we will not read a lot of verses. We will read one verse. Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16. chapter 16. Verse 25. I shall read in your hearing. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And at midnight, Paul and Silas sang, prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners Hurt them. Ndipo ande ndemo anali kuamfa. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven. Mulongo atata amene muri kumamba. And our elder brother, our Savior Jesus Christ. Maso mbali ndi mpulumusuatu Yesu Christ. And the Holy Spirit, our faithful guide and our comforter. Maso zimuera otoko zo kulubirika kwa maso mtondusuatu. We need to thank you this evening. Na kutokuzani madzulani for allowing us access to you before thy glorious throne. Father, we come broken because of trials and tribulation. We come weakened because of temptation, trials and sins. But we want to thank you for tonight's message. We know after you have spoken us, things will happen. We are praying for healing of wounds, mending of broken hearts, strengthening of the weak, giving faith to the to those who have become hopeless. And we also want to give hope to those who are hopeless. Speak to each one of us comfortably tonight. For we have prayed everything in the name of our Lord and Savior who is soon to come Jesus Christ let the whole church say Amen Amen. Acts chapter 16 verse 25 and at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang Praises unto the Lord. And the prisoners heard them. Brothers and sisters, we meet Paul and Silas at midnight and they are in prison. You see, generally midnight is the loneliest hour. The quietest hour. In some places, it is the darkest hour. And we meet the people of God, Paul and Silas. At midnight, and they are in prison. You see, if you go back to verse 24, it says they were in the inner prison. Generally, the inner prison was the darkest and most secure place in a prison. They had been beaten, if you read verse 23. And verse 24 tells us they were put in stocks. Verse 24, you see stocks were a device that was used, usually it was wooden. 
that was used to fasten feet together. It was usually a block of wood. And your legs will be put in the two holes. And then a key will be put on the stocks. So that your feet could not move. You see in the prisons of Paul's days. Most prisoners wore chains. And then the ambiri amamangi dua duniolo. They were manacled together. Migono yao imamangi dua duniolo. And usually a chain, you see, the hands were put together by a chain. Manjao amamangi dua pamozi duniolo. And there will be another chain coming from this chain which has manacled the hands together. Jepa makalanso unyolo wina umene umamanga migono ipamozi. And this chain will be Fastened around your neck. From your neck it will be fastened to the wall or to a post. So a prisoner's movement was restricted. You see sometimes what they would do they would put your legs in the stocks as I have said and the prisons were not like our prisons of today prisons were often, were often very dark without windows generally there were pits in the, in the ground and the access was through a latch a door which would be opened from above and, and, and overcrowding in such prisons was not infrequent they usually was Poor ventilation. There was usually a lack of hygienic facilities. There would be no toilets in prisons of that time. And the prisoners would have to agree that we do our business in that corner. So you can imagine 20, 30, 40 prisoners in a small room without ventilation without windows doing their business in the corner the stench was unbearable the stench was unbearable vermin and rats would fester it is generally ag- uh, 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 accepted and known that rats would nibble off fingers and toes of prisoners. Ears and lips will be dealt with rats. The rats would go into the corner on the business. They would eat and then they would come as you sleep and they would give you a kiss with the business on the hands the prisons were a miserable place I want to tell you brothers and sisters food was of poor quality generally being in prison even just for a few days was just, was just like you have been sentenced to death. This is where we find Paul and Silas. Prisoners would not be separated. The rapists, the murderers, the robbers, the abusers the thieves preachers would all be put in one place it was a bad place to people didn't know what to do when they were put in prisons. brothers and sisters I want to ask a question how is it in your life are you not in prison in your life is it not midnight in your life 
manu imprisoned by habit kodinu simuna kale mundende chocha zikaridwe shackled zikaridwe za moyo uno economically manacled mwina ano mafuto asachu makwika ne mundende socially chained mwina mwa magidwa ndende chocha zoje zunguli prison in your life kodinu simuna mundende moyo mwana are you not at midnight in your life kodinu moyo wanu suli kati mwa usiku i'm saying to you if you are This is your message. This is your message. Are you going through difficulties? Through pain and sorrow. Through pain and sorrow. And you do not know how to break free. Is your future looking bleak? Are you surrounded by darkness? It is midnight for you. And you are in prison. Tonight if you are in prison at midnight like Paul and Silas and you need to be free let us learn from Paul and Silas let's look at what they did when they were in prison i'll give you a few pointers a few points if you are going through difficulties you might do well You might do well to apply this same principles. principles we learn from this passage. The first thing I learn from this passage. I want you to see what happens. It is dark, it is at midnight. By the way the prisons did not have lights. So the prisoners are sitting in darkness. Paul and Silas are in darkness. Paul and Silas are in darkness. They are in the desolation of the dungeons. They did something. In that hopeless place. Surrounded by filthy men. Surrounded by hardcore criminals. Without hope of being released. Here is the first principle for you. Paul and Silas sang a song. They sang praises to the Lord. Despite that they were isolated. Despite the fact that they were surrounded by criminals. Despite the stench of the business in the corner. Despite the nibbling of the rats and vermin around them. They sang Praises unto God. And they prayed. So here is your first principle. Develop an awareness of the ever abiding presence of God. No matter what you are going through. No child of God goes through problems alone. God is there with you. Remember what David says. In Psalms 23 verse 4. He says even if I walk of the shadow of death I will not fear because your presence is with me remember what god himself says in isaiah 43 he says fear not in verse 1 fear not you worm of jacob fear not i am the one who redeemed you fear not verse 2 2 even if you walk in deep water even if you walk in the fire i will be with you I will be with you. Remember what he says. In Hebrews 13. Verse 5. Verse 5. He says I will never leave you nor forsake you. 
So brothers and sisters If you are at your midnight Going through problems Going through problems Through pain and sorrow Shackled by sin You don't know what to do Know that you are not alone Know that you are not alone God is with you So pray unto God Sing praises unto you There's a team in England There's a team, a football team in England Which is called Liverpool They have their song Which simply is entitled We will never walk alone Let not that be a a song for Liverpool But let it be a song for us We will never walk alone because God is with us. That's the first point. Is it midnight in your life? How is it in your life? What struggles are you facing? Develop the ev- develop awareness of the ever abiding presence of God. And know that he will never leave you no forsaken. Let's look for something from this verse again. Something Abusa. China. Point number two. They sing. Adaimba. We had a hymn book. Analindi book lany bondani mudendem. Did they have him book? Analindi book lany bomudendem. They did. Analibe. So how did they sing? Ana in Babanji wo. How did they sing? Ana in Babanji. Principle number two. Mfundo yachiwi. Principle number two. Mfundo yachiwiri. Know your song. Jiwa ni nyimbo yanu. And know the words of your song by heart. Jiwe mau a nyimbo yanu. I'm not talking about the normal songs. Sindu kamba za nyimbo zime netima ziti. You see, like I asked you, do you think they had hymn books? Monga ni kufusa ni kutimu ganze kutu analidi mabu kwa nyimbo. They didn't. Analibe. So how did they sing? Iwa wa maimba guanji. They relied on what they had assimilated in freedom and the daytime. Things they knew. Songs they had sung. In freedom. Those are the songs they recited. Am I with you? Those songs became handy. When they were at midnight in and in prison. Brothers and sisters, what am I saying? Have a testimony of what God has done for you. You must have an experience with God. It becomes handy when you are at midnight. When the marriage starts shaking, you can sing a song to God. That father remember. I remember what you did to me. When my mother was lying on the deathbed. I prayed and I asked you to heal her. And you did it for me. You can also do it this time. The marriage is shaking. If you could steady the health of my mother. You can still steady the this marriage is Do you have a testimony with God? How much time do you spend with him? How many of his promises do you know? Where is your anchor? You see, I, 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 I am a banker by profession. I know about automated tailor machines. You know the ATM? ATM. ATM. What do you call them here? Cash machine. Cash machine. ATM. You know them, the ones where you go outside the bank, you put your card. And it vomits money. Do you know you, you know you know those ones? Huh? Let me tell you something you Let me tell you something you didn't know. You can go and get your your money anytime. Abusa, even at midnight. Is that so? But when do you put the money? 
When do you put the money? You put the money when the bank is still open. During the day. You put your money there. So that you'll be able to come and take it at night. If you don't put anything. And you come at midnight. You, you see sometimes I laugh. You, you are standing in a queue. Oh, you see it says good afternoon. Good morning. And then you press balance uh, ba- balance inquiry it gives you uma fursa kuti mwasana drama but then you say withdrawal ndee uma ati ndifuna ndenge ndalama it says sorry ndee chimakuzu kuti pepani unable to offer fast chingate kupatsa ndi ndalama you hear no male person who has been given that message mwamva hapo za anthu haukamba kuti anozi these machines are not working anthu amata machine za kugira chini za kugira chini machine hiyo these must be chinese machines ah basi ma aji china aji china these these are not working machine za kugira chini but you are standing in the same queue I take out my card. I slot it. The ATM says good afternoon. Is he is here. I just smile because I cannot hear me. I press withdraw. It gives me denominations 100 US. 200, 300, 300, 300, 500, 600, 600. Uh, do you want to go beyond 600? Mufuna mpyolo 600. Hello. I press other. Then I did pen up. I put I punch in a thousand. Then I make a number and I need to find another person. Please wait. Then she made it clear. It blinks a few seconds. Then she make chima kala chikuna chikunga ni mama sikena. Chima mba kusanza ndalama. Kusanza ndalama chima kusanza. The same machine machine aka omweyo which said unable to offer. We na amuza kuti tukupata ndalama. Why did it not give him money? Tsvachana sina pata ndalama. You see when it says unable to offer facilities. You can't stick one yet to saying you don't have money. Hello? Hello? So why does it not offer him money but offers him? Because during the day, chifakuru wa masana. You didn't put it. Sana kaike mo ndalama. So you can't take it. Yes, ungatenga ndalama ngatsuna kaike mo ndalama. If you put something at me, ngatuneka ndalama masana. At midnight it releases money. What have you invested with God? During the day masana times where there is peace in your life. You need to be investing something. So that when you press and you want to withdraw God says what do you want? And he comes through. Some of us say God does not answer prayers. He is simply saying sorry. And able able to offer facilities. You have invested nothing. Hello. Hello. We want to God to answer prayers when we are at midnight. But we have never prayed that that we are able to offer facilities. So Paul and Silas, they were not making their withdrawals. They were not making their withdrawals. They prayed. They prayed. They sang. They Praising God for I hear Paul saying I saying I praise you Father. Delivering me from the Sanhedrin. To be a gospel worker. May you be praised Lord. Praise thank you Father. For allowing us to drive that demon out of that place. Hallelujah. 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 He is in prison. Ali mudedet. Now about to make with the draw. Let's open up to paint during the day. Akutapa na ika mama sana. How is it in your life? Moyo manu zotani. So point principle number 2. Nefundo ya chiwiri. Have an experience with God. Mukare ndi machita chita ndi kwa kuma. Into a midnight. Mukare ndi umboni ndi kwa mungu kwa That's why that's why Jeremiah 12:5 says. If you have run with the footmen and they've wearied thee. If you have run with the footmen and they've wearied thee. Ngati no kuenda ndi anthu chimwa kuononga. What will you do when the horsemen come? Ino machita chani. If you have stumbled. Ngati wazandima on the banks of the Jordan. Wazandima mphepete mwa Jordan. What will you do when it in flood? Muchita chani, muchita chani madzaka sefukira. For you to be delivered at midnight. Kutinu mpulumutsidwe ngati mwa usiku. Have an experience with God. Mukare muri kuti muri pa obale wabwino ndi mulikwa kumwamba. Let's do let's have point number 3. Tibwere kufundo number 3. Uh, I don't know whether the Jewish Bible says uh, there was a choir to sing with them. Ah uh, sindikudzwa ngati Bible achichiwa kuti panali choir mina maimba nayo. They sang 
alone. Amaimba tu and how it will occur. So third principle. Mfundo ya chitatu. If you want your midnight, your prison. Ngatino muli mkati ma usiku wanu. Your issues, your struggles to be lightened or to be removed by God. Ngati mkufuna kutino mavuto wanu akari ope puka mulungu awape putse awachotz. Learn to sing your song without backup. Puzilani. Learn to sing your song without back. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters. Paul and Silas were the only ones in the prison. Paulo Nisira and your calm den dem. Who knew God? Who knew the power of God? And who knew who had the relationship with God? So they could not ask those other people to sing with them. Because those other people did not understand Paul and Silas' beliefs. So what am I saying? When you are in trouble, people might never understand your problem. Some of us rely a lot on prayers of others. It is good. But the best is for you to be able to do it. You see my sister. People might never understand how bitter your marriage is. Because you are always smiling and well dressed. So when you tell people pray for me, my marriage is on the rocks. People look at you and say, What is she saying? How can your marriage be bitter when she's driving a car? And they are walking together with her. It's only you who knows what you are going through. So learn to be able to pray for yourself. Learn to be able to, to, to talk to God alone. That's the same when you are grieving. You have lost a dear one. A child, a spouse, a parent. You have loved. You sit without tears on your face. And people say, ah, she is managing. Ah, she is very brave. But they don't know that the heart is gone. They don't know the nights you wet your pillows with tears. So when you tell them, pray for me, I am pained because of the death of my mother. They say, how can she say she's pained when she was smiling in church? You might be the only one who understands your problem. Learn to sing your own song. Learn to pray for yourself. Point the principle number four. You see, the occupants or the prison held other occupants. Outcasts and criminals who had never heard such sounds before in prison. A prison that usually echoed with insults and swearing words. They were just used to hearing the cursing of prisoners. And they had been accustomed to shrieks and screams mourning from suffering prisoners. This was usual for the shrieks and the moans and the screams would, would often break the silence of the night. But never before Never before had they had prayer and songs of praises ascending from that prison. Read the Acts of the Apostles. 
Zimene zima mfiko. The book Acts of the Apostles. Bukula maji. Bukula maji Lord and Ellen White. This is this point. Akukamba mfundo yangu. Never before. Sisi ndachitika hapo kumbuye huko. Did they ever heard Kuti, songs of praises? Amu tendewa Adam fapo nyimbo zokuwa za kule mikisiko. Prayers being Asha. Mapempero akupempero do mtendeyo. As a result they were incredulous. They were surprised. Chota tina chake and kwana na bwitidu amu tendeyo. They marveled and they asked each other. Ana daba ndipo mafusa na wina ndini zake. Who this man when? God and who called? Called. Kuzisira. Amen. How you are saying that? Amen kuzisira. Hungry. Njala having been tortured. Zawazunsa. Could yet rejoice. Kwa maana ngakare ya kumana simenes akukondwera. Did you hear what we, what we read in Acts 16:25? The Bible says and the prisoners heard. The Bible could and the demo adawamva. It was unusual. Chinali chosa chitika chitika. So what is the principle here? Koda hapa mfundo yake njotani. When you are at your midnight. Muka kalankati mausiku wa moyoani. When you are at your midnight. Muka kalankati mausiku wa. When you are going through struggle. Pamene mukukumana nzovuta. Pain and grief. Mukukumana nzisoni. Be heard. Ndiulu mukare okondwa by the non believers. Mukare okondwa musiane mukare osiana kye no sakupidi. Muku aina akumve no sakupidi. Praising God. Akumve ni mukweza mungwa kumaposa. Let kulipidi. them be surprised. Ndipo iwo osakupidi wadada. But how can she say God is good? Kodi akunena bwanji kuti mulungungwa bwino after what her husband did to her. Pamene no amuna wachi tira zofuta zote. How can he say praises be unto God? Akanena bwanji kuti kumwamba kulemekezeke after his house have been erased to the ground by fire. Pameneno nyumba yao ya uchidwa ndimo. How can he be rejoicing in the Lord? Angama kondere bwanji mabu ngwa kumamba. After being fired at work. Pameneno acho chidwa nchito. Let the non believers be surprised. And when osa kulubirira adabwe. We need to be like Job. Iwo mukwana kalanga Job. Remember Job chapter 120 verse 20 and 21. Job chapter 1 verse 10 21. Naked came I out of my mother's womb. Dinabwe roba lisacho kala mimba mama yanga. Naked will I return thither. Wama lisacho the lord giveth mulungu adepereka the lord take it sopano watenga blessed be the name oda ala ditachika the lord almighty lambuya wa pambu zonse be head muveke at midnight kati mwa usiku when you are imprisoned with Babet problems ni mundende be head at when akumve praising the lord mukukweza mulungu akumwa not cursing and swearing again osakala kutukwana yose kutembere Many times we sit back. Ndau zambi ni timakala. We say but God why did you do this? Ndio kuma ati God mulungu mawe ranges. And why there I'm I'm going to leave you God. Ina ndi kusiani mulungu. Ah if that's what you do to to, to Christians I, 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 then I, 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 worshiping is worthless. Ngati nzimene makita kwa Kristo ndakupembeza kwa panda pa. That's no way of breaking free from a prison. Imene ati sinjira yoto umasubira kundende. That's no way of acquiring light at at, at midnight. Imene sinjira njira pesa za kuwala ngati mausiku. You need to usher praises. Mugwene na mukweze kulemekeza mungu kwa kuma. Mukweze kulemekeza mungu. Usher praises. Lemekeza ni kwese mungu kwa kuma. Pray. Kwesan. Sing. Peperani bani. Sing. Bani. And then God will come through. Ndipo mulungu alorera mafuto. Let me give you my fifth pro, my fifth principle. Patseni mfundo ya chisani. Fifth principle. Mfundo ya chisani. Which you need to learn. Imene mukwene na kupunzira. It goes this way. Njoteri. When songs and praises are ushered at midnight. Nyimbo ndikukweza zikamaperekedwa ngati mausiku. Chains will fall. Maunyoro amaduka amagwa. Prison doors will open. Makomo andende amatseguka. If you read the story. Mukawerenga nkani. When they did that. Pamene adachita smenes. Next verse tells you there was an earthquake and the chains fell off. Verse doors open. Ikufoto kwa sakuti kuna chita chifomes maonyolo anakwa makomanda enda datsi. Always know this that when songs and praises are given to God. Nyimbo ndikukweza sikaperekedwa mungu akumwamba. Chains will fall off. Maunyoro amaduka. Prison doors will open. Makomo andende amatseguka. You remember Jericho? Mukumbukira Yakobo. If you remember Jericho. Ngati mukumbukira Yakobo. Read it in, Je- in Joshua chapter 6. Mukawerenge mu Yosu chapter 6. They ushered praises and screamed and praised God. Adakweza kulemekeza mungu akumwamba. Before the walls came down. Malinga ayeriko asanagwe. What we said the other day. Mukumbu kila sema tunakamba tsikulina. When praises go up. Kukweza kwapita kumwamba. Glory comes down. Ulemelero umatsika. 
Am I with you church? I'm talking to those who are in problems. Struggling with sin. Trials and temptation. Struggling with life. Struggling with health. With marriage. Instead of saying, God, why did you give me this animal? Give praises unto God. Thank you, God, for this husband. It doesn't matter that he beats you up every day. There's something good. He does when he beats you up. Because he beats you up when he is at home. So at least he comes home to beat you up. So God for him coming home. Thank God. Thank you Father. That at least he comes home. Because there are others who don't. Praise God for what he does in our lives. Am I with you brothers and sisters? Let me give you point number six, principle number six. This one is a warning. You remember principle number five. When praises and songs go up, chains follow. Prison doors open. Point number six, principle number six. Not every door that opens at midnight. Means that you should enter. At midnight. When doors open. It does not mean you should go. Oh, you are missing me. You are missing me. If you read the story. If you read the story. Chains have gone. Prison doors have opened. Paul and Silas did not go. They remained seated. Singing and praising. If you go to Acts chapter 10. Peter is arrested. He is put in prison. The saints sing for him. They praise him. He prays whilst he is in prison. And an angel is sent. The angel opens the doors. He drops off his chains. Peter does not move. Until the angel says to him. Get up your loins. And come. Are you with me? When doors open. At midnight. Be sure it's God opening them. And be sure it's God saying enter. Wait for his beckoning. Your marriage might be on the rocks. And you are praying to God. What do I do? What do I do? And then you see that other man. Very understanding. Who starts talking to you. And he sympathizes with you. Be careful, it's not a door to enter. It's not a door to enter. It's not a solution to your problem. But when he comes, he appears the solution. When he comes, he appears as the solution. Be very careful. God fearing people. And your marriage is you are having problems. Both of you church members. Someone comes and offers you a solution. And says, why don't you divorce? In God's vocabulary. There is no way to divorce. Unless there is adultery. You might divorce. But God in heaven says, this is a registered marriage in my book. So divorce and separation are doors not to be entered. Divorce and separation are doors not to be entered. 
Jeno kuleka na kutetsa banje nzosa vumirizi. The book of Malachi God, God does not say I discourage divorce. Buku la Malachi Mungu sasa kuti no sindi kulimbikitsa kutetsa ndo kama banja. He says I hate divorce. Ndikudana ndikutetsa kwa mabanja. The only other thing which he says I detest. Chintu china chimane Mungu akula kula is the eating of pigs and mice. Chonya sandia kuja kwa nkumba ndi mbewa. Do you hear what I'm saying my sister? Mungu mfasimene sabali. Struggling in marriage. Banja likuvuta. Someone tells you divorce. Wina ukusa ni mulitetsi. That's not a door opened by God. Ndimeno sinde kuti Mungu kukomba atsegula. Open it is well. Mungawa renge mawatu. To the law and to the testimony. Kula mulo ndi kujibu. They don't speak according to the word. Gati sande na mwoni kana ndi mawao. They shall not have the light. Sadzaona mbanda kuja. That's Isaiah 8 verse 20. Yes, Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20. Uh, you see you are looking for employment. Mukufuna funa chito. You have been praying and praying and praying. Makala mukupempera kupempera kupempera. All of a sudden there is an opening. Ndeke nako zikoneka ngati mwayi wapezeka. But the opening is the requirement. Komano iri ndi zozienereta. You have to do certain things with the manager. Mukwene na kuti mupange zina kuti mupeze chito. It's not a door to enter. Limeno si komano kuti muloweka pene mutulu. It has not been opened by God. Limeno watse kula si mungu kumamba. Because God says you must possess yourself. He says this is the will of God. Chifwa mungu kuna kuti ichi ndachifuno cha mungu kumamba. That you possess your vessel. Kuti mudzisungira noka mudzisamba ndina mabibi. Sanctification and honor. Piano mudzisunge. That's first Thessalonians chapter verse 3. And this many at Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 3 you, 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 you have been looking for employment. Mukufuna funa chito. You get another job and offer. Ndeno mapesa mwai wanchito. But the working hours in crouch on God's holy hours. Komano maolo ogwira nchito kunchito oko akulorera maolo asabata. It's not a door to enter. Limene ro sindia kuti khombo la tseguka. So no that. Ndia dziwani kuti not all doors that open sima komo ose amene atseguka when you have prayed pamene mwapempera in your midnight ngati mwa usiku wanu in your prison mundende mwanu not all of them means you should enter sima komo ose amene atseguka oti nimuwe salt god fusanikae mungu akumama and his word ndi worengani mawu wake some are provided by the enemy ena makomo ena mwai wina makala kuti waperekedwa ndi ndani let's say you do another point and then we probably will close tieni tione fundo ina kena kuti tseke am i with you brothers and sisters tilimodzi abale ndi alongo am i still with you tilimodzi i also want us to know this ndifuna ati dziwe so ichi every setting of the sun do and how is those setting kamaloa gives the moon its purpose lima pereka mpata kuti mwezi ugwire chito the sun does not set ngati dziwa siriloa the moon has no purpose ndiye kuti mwezi sugwira chito yake what am i saying ndikutanda uzachani i'm saying every trial maeso ndi mafuto ali wonse every struggle maeso ndi mafuto ali wonse every problem you go through futo ali wonse mene makumana nalo they have a purpose at the end lima kala ndi cholinga pa mapepo paul and silas were jailed Paulo ndi sira nali mudende as a result of this imprisonment cho tsatira cha kukala mudende uku the jailer of the, at, at philippi wo yanga ndi ndende wa kumene ku kwa philippi became a church elder adakala ntsogoleri wa mpingo actually he became the pastor at the church of philippi adakala mbusa wa mpingo wa kwa philippi converted that night adatembenuka usiku mene you remember mukumbukira do you remember that he became a convert that night mukumbukira kuti no wo yanga ndi ndende adatembenuka suku mene so when you read the book of philippians ndemo kana kapukula philippi paul is writing to this pastor paul akulemba kwa mbusa amene pastor who was a jailer mbusa amene ndi wo yanga ndi ndende converted as a result of the imprisonment of paul and silas amene adatembenuka po tsatira kumangira kwa paul ndi sira you see something very interesting ndemo kuona po china cho sangalala the philippine church bigwa kwa philippi became the chief sponsor for Paul's ministry. Ndumene udakala ukutandiza kwambiri utumiki kwa Paul. Only did Paul went to that place and came back. He went there, he came back. Paul akwina kuli kwasa kumene amapita. The chief sponsoring organ. Ndalama zimene amagwiri tsanchito was this church at Philippi. Simachoka na kumpi wa kwa. You see it in the book of Philip uh Philippines uh, Philippines uh Philippians chapter 4 verse 16. Ukuzipesa mubukula Philippians chapter 4 verse 16. 
mentions it. So if Paul had not been in prison, if Paul had not been in prison, if Paul had not been in prison, there would have not been a church at Philippi. His ministry would not have gone to where it went because there would have been few resources. Brothers and sisters, I am saying, God knows what we go through. You see, midnight is just a season. Problems are just passing. I need us to know this, brothers and sisters. That some songs are more beautiful if they are sung at midnight. That some prayers are, 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 are more meaningful in Gethman than in the mountain. I'm saying brothers and sisters midnight is just a season. And God made everything in its own season. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1. There is a time for everything. And a season for everything under the sun. And I am saying brothers and sisters. Every midnight. Has a purpose. Just as it still gains strength. Only after being put through a fiery furnace. And just as coal is turned into diamond after years or centuries of being put under pressure. So we people can and do become better Christians stronger Christians through the testing and trials of life. You wouldn't be the person you are without all the experiences you have gone through. Without all the trials, temptations, and the problems you have encountered in your life. We need to know they say every cloud is a silver lining. We need to know that all trials and temptations, problems, and storms, they are just there to strengthen us. To strengthen us. To strengthen us. To refine us. To, to make us stronger. People. And God never leaves us. That's why the songwriter said, The God in the mountain. He is still God in the valleys. And when things go wrong, he will make them right. The God of the day is still God in the night. I need us to know that midnight is passing. That's why Psalm 30 verse 5 says weeping might endure for the night but joy comes in the morning. Weeping might endure for a night. Joy comes in the morning. God demands that as we go through problems, all we need to do is to hold on. Hold on. That's why the songwriter says if you have sat beside the rubble of, your, of an ethnic broken heart, when the things you have given all your life fell apart. You are not the first to be acquainted with grief, 
Si nous aimons comme hey, on a dit, nous sommes prêts à être cas. Mais le master promise est sunshine. Comme un bruit à coulant, il y a quoi la boîte de soie. Vous l'avez gâté. Nous allons te dire. Il y a un petit peu de la Hold on, my child. Joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Weeping might enjoy for a night. Hold on, my child. Joy comes in the morning. The darkest hour. All around him. Means turn down. You put down your cell phone and put it back Why and the gira pastor come busa pastor come busa chikeda pastor tawata i ask you to stand there busa tawata do we have another pastor here yes pastor chimanchere pastor pastor chimanchere i ask you to come forward you know the face i ask you to come forward pastor chimanchere ah busa ina ngatani kati magore kutsokoloko i'm asking the pastors to come ngati muri abusa ina kati magore kutsokoloko Asking you to just stand down. Ah, uh, sorry for 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 asking you to come but I need you pastor Manase. Is there a singing? Pamene akuimba. I am looking for someone. Ni kuna kuna wina ama drag. Someone who is at midnight. Wina amene moyo wako Someone going through problems. Who says, "Father, I need power." Amen. To hold on. Give praises and singing unto you. Until dawn breaks. It might be financial problems. Help problems. Employment problems. Marriage problems. What you say tonight? I want pembelo ya padera. I want a special prayer. I've called the anointed of God. I want you to come. And we are going to pray. If you are there, going through problems and you need the power of God. I am inviting you. Is there a singing? Don't worry about anyone else. It's about you and your issue. You are looking for deliverance. You want to hold on. You don't want to give up. I am calling you tonight. Come for a special prayer. The man of God will pray for us. As the song continues Hold on my child Hold on my child Hold on my child Joy comes in the morning Joy comes in the morning Weeping Weeping Anyone else Let's come forward Let's come forward Is there anyone else? Joy comes in the morning. Anyone else? Are you possible? The darkest star means dawn. It's just inside. Hold on, my child. Before we pray. Koma sana pempere. If you are seated there. Ngati mwakala huko. And you are going through your midnight. Ndiye mkudzwa kuti mkudutsa ngati mawosi mamwe wanu. This is a prayer. Iri ndi pempero to make us keeping on holding on. Lord lititandise kuhumirira be pamulungwa kumwa. Oh as the American say keeping on keeping on. Pakuti anthu aku America mati kuhumirira be ndi kuhumirira be. So that we never give up. Kutino musafika pa kwetsi dwa And we don't fall because the devil has put snares on our way. Kutino tisa gwe chipandi yerekezwa tikira misamba. And if you require a prayer. Ndenga timukufunika pempero. 
I'm asking you to come here. Ndikupe mpani bwere kutsogoloku. Please have not come for baptism. Ah, wasana bwere kubatizwa kutsogoloku. I'm not inviting anyone to come. Sina ikane mtu kuti abwere adzalo wepi. I'm looking for someone. Ine ndifuna funa wili. Who says I am struggling? Amena kuti ndikuvutika. Looking those who are struggling with sin. Kupati kizapo ndi amena kuvutika ndi chimo. You want to break free. Ndiye mfuna musiye chimo. That's this call that all it's about. Kuita ndina kuti kumane kukufuna. That we keep on keeping on. Kuti ndati pitirele kumi ndi abipa. I am appealing to you brothers and sisters. Tukuna ndola na barendi The men of God have come at just to pray for us. As you pray, also pray for us with my wife. You see she is standing. We are going through struggles. We need to be able to keep on holding on. And I'm appealing to you, my brother, my sister. God is inviting you. That he helps you. He stands with you. I want to call someone else. If you are there, and you say when problems come, make me able to stand. If you are there, I'll just ask you to stand stand where you are. Where you are. The darkest storm is dawn is just inside Tera me kuti tivempere Taima pamaso pa inu Bongo atate mwana kumasonzi mwera Amene mudalenga kumwamba komanso dziko la pansi Taima pa masopa anu Yehova mungu wa makamu mogonja ndi motsepetsa Tifuna tikulemekezeni mwapa daladera mulungu Tifacha nyengo ya mtengo apa tali yotere Imene in mulenge mukulankula nafi kuti na mwantu mikwanu kahia Pamene mauwanu alangulidwa Yehova pamakhala kumasulidwa Tikutati kuona inu ngoso nsimwera mukuenda enda mkachisuno kukutsa ndikufikira moyo wina uli wonse Kale mekezeke ni madzwa chikwamala ngula kwa mtima uli wonse pa Yesu ayense pa ikapa atate mulungo kwa mamtima tima ya mikira kwa mbili facha chipulumutso chano shimene muda shita kutira mampulumutso wa Yesu Kristo ambwe Yesu muda siya malo aulime muda zanziko ilandi maoka kutafa pantanda kupulumutsa antu wonsi patiko la pansi ena antu wo ndi feyo taima pa masopa tikusowa chipulumutso chano tima ya mikira mulungu wathu muma dzwake nakali konse kochitika pansi patambo muma dziwa tsitsi la mutu mwathu likatotoka anwake felu sida choti tsitsi la tatotoka koma ino madziwa kuti tsitsi atulina la choka mutu mwathu chotero ndi kutokoza mulungu wathu mukudziwa vuto la winali yense amena ali mu Ambuye pamene lafika dziko la pansi palibe amene ali spared kumavuto anziko ili Amene taima pa masopa nufe tikadati ambe kulangula ali yense paeka paeka akada foto kwa zavuto lake ena ndikusowa kwa ndalama ena tanzirao mungu atu sili dibwino wai ena mabanja ao ndo soko nekera ena kunchito kwa ao sisi kuenda ena business ao sisi dibwino Tiko lonsi la pansi panopali kubula Ifasha mafutu amene adza ntiko la pansi Komando matroa Mugali mekeziki Mwati punzitza Kutitinga pire banji musa utazwetu kumana nasu Chua mbila lula nukulu kila zochi mwaza Tufai fea nanu Ngakale numa tila zoko mazambili Nkati mwa mafutu Tima kushi mwilani Mulole kutisambitza ndi mwazi wano Chotero matroa na ambuye 
Ndufuna ndibereke moyo wina uli wonso mene uno mene wadzibereka mogonja ndi modzibetsa masumano kuti mulandele nsoma padera. Pa Yohana chapter 6 verse 7 Yesu mulalankula kuti si, moyo uli wonso mene ngadze kwaine siti dzauta kunja landra ndi wina alensa mena kudza kwaine. Enai fe Mungu akumamba ndife akapolo chifwa cha makhedwe athu. Ma habits are, we are addicted kuzindu zoipa. Lola ni matzoa. Tisashoke maloa. Tisana masulidwe. Muti masule kusinga zose za satana. Tiende topa anu maufuru. Po ndi sira. Adali mundende. Yo mangidwa asada lawe. Koma ife ambuye. Tikuzika toka mundende. Pacha sochi mazatu. Matzoa. Kandi nyamata kandi nsungwana. Kanda bambo kanda mai. Amene taima pano, muti masure. Enaife mungu wa kumamba, mkawazatu za mbanja, kandiza kunchito, mungu wa kumamba muti tandizi. Mwina nkuteka vuto olo sirichoka hai. Kwa manunga kare vuto oli kalili bobe, muti tandiza kule mekeza nibi. Mudana uti chipiri Hiroshima chita kuera mtima. Tipate ni mtima woyera mungu wa kumamba. Chifuwa mbwe, nga kare zita vuto banji, tika bitu za kule mekeza nibi. Nduka ananuli mozi, chikuli na mavuto watu wazata. Pasali mo 91 verse 14, mudani na maa wa mbwe, mudani na kuti, popeza andi kondadi, ndi tamplu mozi. Mutandize, wina ali yensali munu, kukukondani ni yesu. Kuti mutipulu muze, mudani na kuti, tamkweza mwamba, popeza adzi wa zinalanga. Pa verse 15, muna kuti, munsa uto, ndi zakana ili mozi. Ndi bempilu langa mbwe mazoan. Kudari yensa mina kuduta musa uto. Mukena ili umoti. Ndima kule meke zani yesu. Kutipo kana afe musa uto mo. Si mungu otia ngana. Tigulina muti randiti. Ziko mu mungu watu. Fama lonjiza nwa nsa mina ni mbebo. Ndi atu. Tatogoza oti mwa lonjiza oti mukala na afe. Nga kile po duta pamati. Polo kamitije situ kukula. Musa lore mavuto amene satana adibata. Atijo seji kubo mwa ini. Kwa mula ati mavuto. Ati pangitse feko yanga na kwa ini. Mudane na yesu kristu. Kuluka chapter 21. Muka zao na isisi kushitika. Tukula ni mitu yano. Shifa shombole dushano. Chiti pa fupi. Muka le meke zeke mbwe. Fasha nyengo. Sibena ana ntikudu tsamo. Tika enda muntamba sale. Tia wala utitiko ni osiku watu ya. Kwatu. Mkumene muda pita ino kati konsila malu. Mabadila. Kakari nitu mikwano. Eda kahia. Mkazu wake. Mukale nae. Tukutoko oza. Shifa jazimene anga tekudu tsamo. Komaso zimene wadu tsamo. Ndikaona anga tekwele nga bible. Ndi kutita ntawuzila mungu wa shita mifajo di mungu wa kumamba Akumvetse tsa mene ni mungu wa shita ntawana Zita tazon sezi tsikulina Titapese ka mule mulano Dali tsa niwe na aliense Tuko mulole matroa Ngati ulipo moyo wina omene tzina like mbuku Lanla moyo kumamba kulibe Mule mbe tsopa Mudi sindi giza nchi zitikloshan Tika wele nga bible Likuti tsibi giza nchi pakuta patikoli Zo wawa zitakula Kwa maboka boka bai ni munga nyimbo tima imba Tita pesa mpumulo. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Yesu mkuti itani. Kwa ini no sin akule mandaku todwa. Ndipo nita kulumu itani. Taza matuano kwa inu Yesu. Tipa teni mpumulo wa muntima. Tipa teni ntendere. Umene mtusonga tegumbe teta. Peace. Surpassing understanding father. That is what we need. Bless us and guide us. Tipa imene ndipe mpulatu. Mutina. Lambo wa Yesu Christu. Amen. Nadewa atuwera ameni muli kumwamba. Kutikali mekezeke zina anu mazuru anu. Chifuku wa mwala kukulandi mpingu anu. Kupiore la mwantu miku anu. Tukutoko za ehova chifuku wa jama langizo. Ameni mwadipata mazuru anu. Tukupempa mutitandi ze aliense paika paika. Monga mwala kukula nafe ambuye. Mene tinga dutsire manzunzo ndi mavuto sena siyana mena kuza mwe watu. Mutitandi ze kuenda nanu ndukujita nanu. Duku tatira mfundo zimene mungu tirangiza kutifitika jide. Tawu zambiri tika pinjika, tika futika. Tima iwala kuimba, dukule mekeza zina lanu. Mutitandi ze mungu watu, kule mekeza, dukule za zina lanu, pa mene miyoyatu ya pinjika. Chifuwa dukuziwa kuti mene fetu kule mekeza, duku tama ndaini. Ndipa mene maunyolo osiana siyana ama kwa mwoyo mwatu. Mutitimbi kitse mungu watu, ndi nzimu anu kukupe mbezani. Tukutoko za kutu ndi ni mulungu wagu mfa. Mulungu wa mene kutulanu siro gonta. Kutisi mungate kutimfa. Kapena zanjalanu walifubi. Kutisi mungate ufikira zosu wa zatu. 
Muka fikire chosu wa jamu ya wina uli wansi madzuro wano. Munga mwa kujuru ka mlungu watu kwa juma jano. Madzuro wano pamene tika hitu kujuru ka nyumba muno. Kupita malo watu osiana siyana. Tukupempa kutino mutipate maendedo abu ino. Kutino aliense waifi ya kafike bwino lomwe. Ndikuti so mawa ehova kuzabiti zekula nkula nafe kubiole da mwaka polo wano. Mukale meke zeke ehova mlungu watu. Chifuwa mwadimva ndiku yanka wapempelo watu. Muzina lambu ya watu Yesu Kristo. Amen. Let's 